hi to Chaco. Let's see what we have here. Foggy 27, so we're at 25. Foggy's creeping here on the left side. He has a demon hunter out here on the right side. Just passing. Does he have a staff on the demon hunter? I assume he does. Oh, just staff preservation. No staff for teleportation. Blade Master over here, by the way, for Serene. Samuro, just level 1, but some nice items. Circlet, Claws of Haste, Claws of Attack, and a Potion of Invulnerability. He's going for this Archer. East Master just blocking the Blade Master a little bit. Okay, there's a Druid of the Talon. Can he fight against Samuro? Samuro has very good items, but the Beast Master has a Potion of Healing. But he should be uh, fine. The Demon Hunter is coming back to the fight. Okay, he doesn't, of course, want to use the Potion of Healing if you don't have to. Okay, loses the Archer. Samuro, does he have Boots of Speed? No Boots of Speed. Does the Demon, Demon Hunter has Boots of Speed? Samuro in danger. 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 The Demon Hunter can just kill him. Uh, oh, he did still have an Info Potion. He's not going to kill the Beastmaster, though. He's going to just heal up. Was it a 7 second one or a 15 second one? Uh, because the Blade Master is definitely going to die here. Maybe move it. I think it was a 15 second one. Using healing potion. There goes the Blade Master. Uh, meanwhile, the TC with Tigor Dust Hoof. He's creeping over here. Did he? Did he? Is he just creeping us with one grunt? Does he only have one grunt? Did he lose grunts early game? He must have. He must have lost some grunts. He only has one grunt. What a new Borg. Yeah, what a new Borg. So he's such a new Borg. Um, but he does have Tigor Dust Hoof. Or did you not mean so we you of course meant the blade master i don't know what his name is the blade master is samuro we oh i did know what his name was spirit lodge uh up no bestiary oh here's the bestiary bestiary up as well tiger level two he needs to get level three he does buy the potion of lesser invulnerability and the scroll of healing Getting adapt. There's a tinker here out for Foggy. Does he get master yet? He does have master pretty soon. Does he have an orb? He has an orb. He has a very strong demon hunter. Uh, almost has a level three beast master. Foggy can just win the game right here, right now. In retreating here, he's gonna lose. Uh, well, he does get a gloss of haste. Not a nice item for the Samuro blade master, but Samuro is still level two. If he was level three, if he still had the info potion. This would be a pretty good situation for Samuro. Okay, it does give him that 7 second info potion. But if he was level 3, he would, he would have level 2 critical strike. There would be a completely different story here. But with level 1 critical strike, which is not strong enough. He does kill the piggy. Uh, the TC Tiger is also in the level 3. So, uh, so he just has to avoid the fights until he has a level 3 here. Uh, double level 3 hero there. Beastmaster is creeping over here. Does get level 3 as well. Pendant of Energy. Uh, oh, Demon Hunter is not level 3 yet either, actually. He will get level 3 here now. So here we have 3, 3, 1, 4, Foggy. Uh, Demon Hunter very strong. Beastmaster, plenty of mana for piggies. Actually, he's not at full mana right now, so he doesn't have that much mana. But the TC, Blade Master, still level 2 and a half. Foggy could just win a fight right now. He should probably just uh, try to fight instead of creeping. But maybe he wants to buy some more items. He doesn't have any items. No info potions, no healing scrolls. Uh, they are available. Well, one healing scroll is available. The info potion not available just yet. There is an info potion available over here. Um, it costs 400 gold for the 15 second one. But this one, the 7 second one, of, of course, only 150 gold. Actually, it just became available. It's nice timing there by, uh, by Foggy. The 15 second one, of course, you never really want to buy it as Night Elf. In fact, you might probably want the greater healing potion over the info potion. Maybe, but as an orc, it's sometimes just worth it. Like 15, this is just such a good item. 15 seconds of invulnerability on a level three blade master with level two critical strike with these items. It's a very good item. It's probably worth it a lot of times over the uh, seven second info potion. Depends of course how the game goes. He even has a gloss of haste on the TC. He probably needs to, uh, to get rid of the ring of regeneration. Just sell it. Just sell the ring of regeneration. Oh, well, he just went over 50 supply, but the ring of regeneration. Not as good as another gloss of haste. With another gloss of haste, maybe in 7 seconds he can kill the demon hunter. 
Maybe not. Demon Hunter has an info potion. Did he uh, actually... Oh, he gave a cause of attack to the Tinker. Okay, Blade Master, but it, okay, the shockwave down. TP immediately because the position here for Foggy is just awful. TP's out, a shockwave kills one of the dudes of the Talon, and there goes the Pocket Factory. I mean, the heroes for uh, Sewing Daddy did get level 3 anyway. When I said Foggy wanted to, wanted to fight, it was before the level 3 heroes. This was actually uh, perfect here for Sewing. He has the level 3 heroes, he had 58 supply against 49. Foggy had a very bad positioning, so Foggy TP's out. Beautiful, just beautiful. Healing scroll here on the Beastmaster, healing scroll here on the Tinker. Demon Hunter with, uh, we'll give the claws back to the Demon Hunter here. Why doesn't Pocket Factory teleport as well? Because of the building. Things don't teleport. Uh, the Goblin Tinkers, they teleport. Only living things can teleport, I guess. No, that's not true because the goblin, the goblin tinker robot things, they are not living. The mechanical units also teleport, but maybe it's just the pocket factory is uh, is attached to the ground. So it's attached with duct tape to the ground, so it's pretty sturdy. And one TP. Four for three logic. I mean, the logic is probably there somewhere. Racket contraption here. Shut down. Gassy board. Uh, meanwhile, he's keeping uh, buying items over here. Another healing scroll. And an info potion is available as well. He doesn't need the info potion. Has one on the blade master already. Doesn't need an extra one on the TC. If you ask, if I ask you to cast one more game, would you? How many times are you gonna ask me to cast one more game? Maybe if we have a good game up. We have a bunch of raiders. We have seven raiders. Uh, there's a cyclone. This raider is going to fall here. This uh, position here for Foggy, not bad. Uh, pocket factory here in the back, I like that. The uh, footed launch will go down here, will fall. <clears throat> Cyclone here on the Blade Master. Here we is the fight. The Pocket Factory uh, is almost gonna expire. Does he have mana for another one? He does. He does have plenty of mana. Beastmaster also plenty of mana for piggies. Uh, the Raiders are pretty good position. Demon Hunter had to use the Info Potion. Blade Master as well. And TP out here before Foggy. And one more Druid of the Talon does die. So what did we see in bodies here? Two Druids of the Talon and one Raider. Oh, and a fairy dragon. That's pretty good here for Sawin. Sawin is 20 supply up over Foggy. Foggy has a lot of money though. Foggy can build some units. DC can get some mana, maybe some clarities. No? Those are money clarities. Okay. Beastmaster buys the item again, an info potion. Healing scrolls are sold out. He has one on the Tinker. There's a TP there on the Blade Master. What's the bla uh, on the Demon Hunter Blade Master? Just check, just uh, shopping here. He's like waiting for the new uh, new items to come in. New healing scroll. Buys it. Two healing scrolls. No info potions though. Oh wait, no, no, never mind. He still had that info potion. Okay, 49 supply. He has so much gold. He doesn't want to go over 50 supply. Maybe he should buy another orb. That's something Czech would do in this situation. Just buy another orb. Orbs are so good. Second orb is so good as well. Uh, this Murloc's dying. Total strength. Freeze it up with... Uh... I actually would just like to pick it up with the Beastmaster. Two extra damage is quite relevant. Doesn't pick it up at all. I guess he uh, hates books. Eight study books. We're under this this graphic here is still bugged. I'm not sure if they want this on purpose. That looks like that. Has been always like that. Do you want to uh, TP's out? But with how much of his army is going to TP out? Well, about half his army. 
two heroes. Is this uh is he gonna make the same mistake as a light elf player against Lin? See the blade master, he cuts on the he cuts apart the demon into a nice shockwave there. You see uh doesn't have mana for more shockwaves, but just four dudes of the Talon. What he TP'd home with. Four dudes of the Talon and his heroes his pocket factory now blocking out the Demon Hunter. Uh Demon Hunter still safe though. Did he uh he did can he buy a healing potion and use it? He did. But he's going to die eventually. He buys the TP. Finally the other Knight of Units show up. Maybe he TP's this over here? No. Um he does just TP back in his base. And this is going to be so difficult for Foggy. I thought he was uh, winning this game earlier, but I don't know. He let, made some mistakes. So he is back in this game. He's winning this game. 177 for critical strike on the Tinker. 156 for critical strike on the Tinker. And he kills it. And now he's going for the Beastmaster. Beastmaster against Blademaster. Who wins the fight? Uh, Blademaster runs away. Kills a Berserker there. And the Demon Hunter is still very strong here. The units here for Sowin, very low on hit points. This unit, two hit points. Does go down there. Stuck on there on the TC. These units here, they're kind of surrounded by these Jews of the Talon. I wonder if he can block them and kill them. Kind of forces maybe an engagement by cycloning that TC. And he keeps uh, killing other units while so he engages. TC is not going to fall, to fall here because he's attacking other units. Should have uh, probably cycloned the TC one more time while I was fighting the other units. Use the info potion there on the demon hunter, Blade Master. Coming in, killing a druid of the Talon. The other druid of the Talon uh, surrounds the TC. Uh, demon hunter gets stopped out. Oh, the TC is free to go. He's grunt as well with like, uh, oh no, never mind. The grunt dies. There, the spirit walker might fall as well. 18 hit points. Where's the demon hunter? Demon hunter coming back. The piggy, it's your turn. Piggy, can you get this cow? Yes, the piggy kills the cow. Like one one type of food, killing the other food. 46 supply now for Foggy, 51 for Shireen. Foggy back in this game. Foggy is back in this game. He has a bunch of dudes of the Talon. Going, uh, your third. Great hole is up. Let's see, who wins this fight? The uh, units of Foggy are pretty hurt as well. Though these units for Serena are still healing. So you cannot engage just yet, but maybe once once his units are done healing, we have an engagement here. So in, although he doesn't have mana on the TC. Oh, Tinker. Hello. Tinker is... Uh... Oh, Tinker is safe. Blade Master kills a few druids of the Talon in one hit, but he goes down pretty low on hit points himself. Uh, actually, can he can he get killed? They use the healing scroll there. Oh, he will survive for now. The TC kills the Pocket Factory. Pocket Factory, I'm not sure if it was in the best position, but it's an all open area. I'm not sure what is the best position in that situation. There was a nice uh, shockwave killing uh, like one druid of the Talon. Druids of the Talon are like all sped up. 45 supply for Foggy though. It's 50 for Serene. Sure the the ogre he should maybe uh, kill the ogre with the the spirit walkers instead of killing the druids of the Talon because the ogre kills the raiders so fast ogre still alive it's just heroes and the ogre and a fairy dragon here for foggy but it, it's enough it's just enough because these raiders are so low on hit points TC is level five though level five TC that can always win the game also very close to level five blade master what about foggy level four demon hunter level four beast master level three tinker those are strong heroes, but against the level 5 heroes of Orc, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Oh, we have 41 supply. Can he creep? Oh, we have expansion. I, I didn't even realize that. We have a Berserker in there as well. Killing the peasants. I'm giving some XP here to Foggy. Foggy has only 3 supply behind, so that means he has a supply advantage. Although it's not really a lot of dudes of the Talon, it's an Ogre Modeler and a Fairy Dragon. So I'm not sure if you can still uh, count it for supply being a lot behind as an advantage, especially not against a level uh, 3 Shockwave. Killing those two dudes of the Talon was easy peasy, and now only two new dudes of the Talon coming in. Some Cyclones on the Blade Master would be nice. 
Uh, uses one on the TC, that's nice as well. Uses on the other one. The orc unit is just dying to the elf heroes. Look at these spirit walkers, they just have to run. Look at that, these raiders, everything just so low on hit, hit points. Just these knight of heroes just doing so much damage. There's a cyclone on the TC, can he kill the TC? He definitely needs a mana burn on the TC. Uh, or, or kill it, either is fine. He uh, decides to do neither. There's a shockwave hitting everything. But the blade master is going to fall here. Uh, Foggy is going to win this game, killing this blade master. Because all these units, look how low on hit points they are. Is this, is this insane or what? Some healing scrolls would be nice. You can buy one. Uh, one healing scroll is nice. Everything in the red, and now everything in the orange. Red to orange is still uh, they're still going to die to this Knight of Heroes, though. Especially without a Blade Master, especially without mana on the TC. Foggy's just hunting down units, like he's playing Slither. Expansion is still up, but it's not mining because we have a piggy here. Oh, piggy goes down. Uh, instead, we'll place a pocket factory there. Tinker is not needed anyway. The Demon Hunter and the Beastmaster by themselves, they can handle this this army of Serene. Imagine if he bought the orb earlier for the Beastmaster. This game would have already been won by Foggy like 10 minutes ago. Imagine if he had the third one on Tinker. This game would be so over. Foggy would have not even... Uh, never been even close to losing. That's a nice mana burn there on this cow. He's going for the Altar. He can't get the Altar. Because, uh, oh, we can kill it. Main is out of gold. Same here for Foggy, I believe. He's walking his tree of eternity. He did get Nature's Blessing. This expansion got killed by the Clockwork Goblins. That's what level 2 Clockwork Goblins do. Right, level, uh, level 2 Pocket Factory, level 1 Engineering. Looks like Sock coming back. Sock? What do you mean? I've... Uh, Demon Hunter here, killing some more units. Almost level 5. How is... Uh, what's the wing going to do here? Going to kill the Tree of Eternity. I see, that's smart. Do we have a TP? Do I have TP? Do you have Pillage? We do have Pillage. Do we have a base race? We do have a base race. This, do, this does look uh, not that bad here for... Uh, Sawin. I mean... Of course he's, uh, he's going to lose. Of course he's going to lose, but maybe he still has a chance here to win. Demon Hunter by himself should be able to win this fight, especially with the Moon Wheels over here. But the Raiders can keep it ensnared at all times. There was a... As long as he times his ensnares right, this Demon Hunter should never be able to move. Can he kill it? No, he cannot kill it. Here comes the Druids of the Talon. To the rescue of the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter gets some more attacks off with the poison, doing a lot of damage. Uh, more cyclones on TC. We'll have a wave soon if he can get that wave off. Now, GG, Foggy wins the game.